This is how a Maltese cross would turn out if you folded it and dyed it the way I did. These are all my other designs. You can view on YouTube.com under Dan Dyes how to fold all these designs. Hope you all have fun. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to tie-dye a Maltese cross. First, you soak the shirt in solution that uh, the tie-dye company gives you for the proper amount of time. And I've already made the square on here. And you fold the shirt in half. Then you fold it again, making sure the two lines light up. Another line is right there. Fold that out like that. Get the sleeves out where they belong. We want to know where this point is here. Because we're going to come in like this. You only got to draw half this. Now you fold the shirt this way. And then you do your fan folds like this, keeping your ridges all the same height. And you stick a rubber band around there loosely. Get a few rubber bands out here. A little smaller one. This one don't have to be so tight. This will end up with three rubber bands around it, if not more. And I'll show you why in a minute. It also makes your uh, design a lot more defined so people can see what, what it is instead of seeing a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm going to stick another one down here. Okay, now, yeah, get this going. Keeping this line straight. Take another small rubber band. This one, this one's kind of tricky because it don't want to hang on that well. No, I'm gonna do that over. Get this rubber band started here first. Now all I did there is made a figure eight with this rubber band. I went around the the, the new spot and then around the old spot. And that'll keep that point from touching. Stick more rubber bands down this way. And I'll end up sticking one more rubber band up to there by my design. All depends on how tight I can get it. You want them, you want all your uh, designs to be stick right out there so people can see them. Let's a nice thick one. Go like that. One time. that one time and back around the other way this time we'll start here
the tie-dye and Maltese cross. And again, I always have a bag that I put these things in that are already labeled for what they are because I do more than one design at one time. And when I go outside to tie-dye them, I know what they are and what colors they had. That's how you do a Maltese cross. Okay, I'm outside the dyeing station. This is the Maltese cross. This area here is going to be black and they're going to have orange and black to the rest of it. So, I'll start up with the orange. And uh, usually when I rinse these, I rinse them three times. And I do it right here with the garden hose because it uh, rinses that stuff right away real fast. Uh, don't have time to bleed. Uh, keeps the whites whiter. And now uh, the black. And that's a Maltese cross for you. This is how a Maltese cross would turn out if you folded it and dyed it the way I did. These are all my other designs. You can view on YouTube.com under Damn Dyes how to fold all these designs. Hope you all have fun.